Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers. Welcome newcomers. I hope you like what you see and if so, be part of this journey with us. One big happy family. I use for the most part 100% cotton thread. These are Portugal brands. They're four ply, similar to Aunt Lydia number three, cotton. But Aunt Lydia number three is a little bit thicker. So your patterns become a bit bigger. My colors here go by number, not by name. So this beautiful, gorgeous blue, almost like my nails, number 30. And I use 2.75 hook, small one to tuck in loose ends, of course, a pair of scissors. I also would like to mention that I do have a private crochet group. If you're interested to join the beautiful queens there and myself, you're more than welcome as long as you have a profile pic. I also have a, a crochet page. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and also TikTok. All of these links will be below in the description box. All you have to do is just click there. If you're not subscribed yet and you like the channel, please subscribe. Hit that subscription button. It is free. Everything is free. Tutorials are free. And don't forget to hit that bell notification to be notified of the new uploads. Please also give a thumbs up on the video. It's extremely important. And any suggestion, questions, please feel free. If I don't answer you right away, it's because we're in a different time zone. I'm in Europe. So we are going to get started. I also would like to mention if the video is too fast for you, you could always slow it down, turn your closed caption on, pause, take notes, or just pause, look at what you're doing, see if it matches what is on the screen. Uh, I do have a link if you don't know how to do these things to slow down the video. There's a link in the description box, two minutes. I show you how to do that and also how to zoom in so you can see the stitch properly. Okay. Thank you so much, everybody. Let's get started. I almost forgot. So there's a lot of people that question me about these uh, balls of thread. These are 100%, of course, cotton thread. Uh, they're 100 grams, equivalent to 300, 325 yards. They're $12 a ball. Minimum of order is six to cover the shipping cost because it's horrendous from here to there to out in the world. Besides being Europe, uh, if you're European, obviously, it's cheaper because you're part of the Euro Union. Okay. Okay, everyone. So... I'm going to create, or at least attempt to create, a small uh, little girl's dress. But you guys love so much pineapple, so I'm going to try to add some pineapples to this dress. Um, I usually don't make baby clothes, but I had an idea to do it. We have our beautiful member, um, Lila Irwin, in our private crochet group and of course she is a follower subscriber here on the channel lover to pieces hi lila reach out to you and to roger much hugs much love to both of you and she was just a great grandmother not long ago for the first time so congratulations to both of you and i was confused if she had a little it was a little boy, little girl, and then I thought, well, and I said, no, it's a boy. And I was thinking when I first had the imagination to do this dress was to really surprise her and um, and and create this dress on the baby's name, but it's a boy, so unfortunately we can't do that. But I am going to create the dress just the same. And you never know, she might be a um, great-grandmother of a little girl, and, uh, of course, she'll create probably the dress for the little girl. So uh, we're going to attempt this today. I'm using four ply 100% cotton thread. These are similar to Antlidia number three cotton. My pieces will become a little bit smaller because um, my thread is a little bit thinner. Now I'll be using two colors for this. I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna use the royal blue or maybe this orangey or maybe the royal blue with a lighter blue and we'll take it from there i don't know yet i'm, I'm gonna see as i go 2.75 hook a small one tuck in loose ends and of course a pair of scissors okay so i have so much thread left over we don't want to put that to waste so we'll create something really lovely um 
Thank you for being here. If you're not subscribed, please do so. And also like the video. It's extremely important. Sharing is caring. So if you can share to invite your friends and family along. Perfect. Beautiful. Thank you so much, everybody. So the first thing we want to do is that slip stitch knot. Okay. Another thing is... Um, by going bigger sizes, we can always in increase by eight chain, okay? So two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to do a hundred chain. I've done my 100 chain stitch, and I'm going to do three more. One, two, and three. I'm going to come back to the fifth chain. One, two, three, four and five i'm grabbing both loops we don't want anything to bend here like a u-shape and i'm doing a double crochet hope my camera is not too much out of focus okay so i have two double crochets already i'm going to complete 10 double crochets one per stitch Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's included with the three chains that we've turned. So we have two, four, six, eight, ten. I'm going to do one chain. I'm going to skip one, two space and coming on the third and inside of this uh, chain. I'm going to do a total of six double crochet. Two, three, four, five, and six double crochet. One chain. I'm going to skip two space. One, two, and on the third one, you have to be careful because. It pulls a lot on the uh, chain since we did six in there. Okay, so you can't miss that. You have to make sure that you really count your stitch back here. One, two. Okay, so now I'm going to do one per stitch. We'll have a total of 20 double crochet. Okay, so I'm going to do my 20 double crochet and then come back to you on it. Basically, these are the um, four corners where, where we're doing the six double crochets, okay? So I've done my 20 double crochets, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, one chain. Skipping again two space, going on the third, and repeating those six double crochets. So basically creating the corners here. Four. Five. Six, two, four, six, one chain, and again repeating the 20 double crochet. So we're going to skip one, two, into the third one, and create one per stitch, 20 double crochets. Okay? Okay, everyone. So I've done my 20 double crochets. I'm going to repeat the six double crochets again, the corner. So I'm going to skip one, two. I'm coming in the third one and doing those six double crochets. 
and then one chain and repeat the 20 double crochets again. So this is the top part of the dress. So I have six, one chain, skip one, two into my third one. And again, we're going to do the 20 double crochets. One per stitch. Okay, so, so far we have three corners. We'll need one more corner. We have where we have the sixes, okay? So I've done my 20. I'm going to do my one chain, skip one. One, two, come on the third one. And now we're going to do those six double crochets in the same stitch so this is my fourth corner and then one chain and ten double crochets two four six one chain skip two and do your ten double crochets got to make sure you grab that thread properly okay everyone so ended up exactly on my last stitch. I'm going to turn around. I'm going to come back in the same stitch and I'm going to do a single and two chain. I'm going to do one per stitch. So we have 10 double crochets. We're going to repeat the 10 double crochets. Now this last one here on my 10th, we're going to have an increase of one more double crochet in the same stitch. So come back in and do one more double crochet. So now we have a total of 11. One chain. I'm going to do a front post double crochet. Coming in the second one. Front post double crochet again. And on my third one, front post double crochet, chain two, and proceed again with the other three double crochets. We're going to do this on this second row all the way to the end the same way. So where we have the double crochets, we're always going to do an increase of one chain. Where we have the six, we're doing the front posts. and two chain space and then front post again. Okay, so that means that all of them will be the same thing. One chain. Also here, increase of two double crochet and then one per stitch on the 20 double crochets. So we'll have Increase at, at the end here, increase at the beginning. Again, increase at the end. Then we do a one chain, do the front post, two double crochet in the three front posts. And again, an increase. So it's just to repeat exactly what we're doing here. We're going to do this whole row the same way. Okay? So I want to make sure you understood. So we did the increase here. I'm getting to my last one. So we're going to do again an increase before our shell. Two double crochets on the same stitch. One chain and proceed with front post double crochet. Three times. Three 
two chain space and again your front posts on the other three double crochets one chain and again increase on this first one here two double crochet on the same stitch so we're just going to repeat one per stitch getting here we're doing the increase the front posts and again increasing so we're just repeating what we just did okay everyone so pretty much finished my row this is what it looks like so far so now we're going to turn around and repeat again all of the double crochets coming to the last one we're doing the increase of two on the same stitch the six double crochets we did here on the first row we're going to do it inside of the shell here and this is always going to be a repeat like that we're always going to do the increase here and at the beginning of the next one so I'm going to come back in again single and my two chain into the next one double crochet per stitch so I'm getting to the last one here we're going to do the increase of two double crochets on the same stitch as we've been doing one chain coming in the center of that shell I'm going to repeat my six double crochets and it's going to be like this on this row three the same way two four five and six one chain coming in that so we're skipping all three coming in that first double crochet and doing my increase exactly how we did it on the previous row and now one per stitch okay so this is how we're going to repeat this row all the way to the end always increase here at the beginning at the end six double crochets in the shell and continue on at the end i'll meet you at the end of my row three okay everyone so this is what it's looking like. Now we're going to continue to do the same rows repeatedly for 14 rows all together. We already have three. We're going to continue until we have 14 rows, always increasing, one at the beginning and one here, and always alternating the six double crochets and the front posts. Okay, I'm going to continue mine. There's no point of recording the same thing over and over. It takes too much space on the uh, mobile and of course the video becomes very long okay so it's just repeating exactly what we did alternating the rows always doing your increase and one chain space okay i'll meet you at the end of my 14th row okay everyone so i've done my 14 rows we're going to row 15. now row 15 we're going to close up the sleeves on both sides this is front, this is back where it's open, and these are the sides. So we're going to turn our pattern. We're going to do one double crochet per stitch. So I've done my single two chain. So I'm going to continue to do one double crochet per stitch until my increase so i'm arriving on my last one here we're still doing the increase one inside of the same stitch so we have the two together one chain i'm coming in that shell and i'm doing only three double crochet one chain now where we have the second shell we're going to do three double crochets in there also so we're skipping 
all of this. This is part of the sleeve. And doing three double crochet. One chain. And I'm coming back in on the next one, doing the increase. And continuing one double crochet per stitch until my next increase. Okay, so pretty much closing up that sleeve. So I've arrived on my last double crochet here also and doing an increase two on the same stitch. One chain. I'm coming in my shell and I'm doing my three double crochets and closing the other sleeve. One chain coming in the next shell. So we're skipping all of this. And doing my three double crochets, one chain coming in that first double crochet, doing my increase as we've been doing, and one per stitch to the end. Okay, everyone, so I've reached the end. Now we're going to close the pattern up. So I'm grabbing both. And I'm going to do a slip stitch on that second chain that I went up. Remember I did a single and two chain. So I'm going to slip stitch. Now this row is going to be about single. So I'm going up one chain coming back in that stitch and doing a single. So doing a single per stitch. And I'll meet you there where we have the increase. So we're just getting to that increase stitch we are not increasing so we're just doing the single coming on that one chain space with single and one per stitch where we have the three double crochets and then again one single in one chain space and where we have the three double crochets so this is like the sleeve here one in the chain stitch that's all we're doing just repeating all the way around the same way single for each stitch okay no increase and then one inside of the chain space okay so i'll meet you at the end okay everyone getting to the end so i've done my last single inside of that one chain space i'm coming in my first single with slip stitch I'm going to do one two three for double crochet and one for space I'm gonna skip a stitch and I'm coming into the next one one chain skip a stitch into the next one we're going to do this all the way around, and this is to put a ribbon in between the top and the bottom of the dress, which I guess we'd say a skirt. Skip a stitch into the next one. One chain, skip a stitch into the next one. Um, actually, sorry. We have to do triples so we can have the right size of ribbon. I don't know what I was thinking. So one, two, three, four, and one more for space. Triple, skip a stitch. Sorry, people. That's why it's important to look ahead of the, the video. 
we're doing triple one chain, skip a stitch. This way the ribbon will fit properly, not double crochet. Skip a stitch into the next one. One chain, skip a stitch into the next one. We're going to do this all the way around the same way and I'll meet you at the end. I hope I wasn't off camera. I have the tendency to stretch my arms all the way to the back and then it gets off camera. Skip a stitch and triple. One chain. Roll twice in your hook. Skip a stitch and triple. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, we're getting to the end to close up. I've done my one chain, and I have one, two, three on my fourth. I'm going to close up with slip stitch. Now, just to give you an idea what it looks like already. So this is the back part, okay? And this is the front part. So we will be missing four singles and next row is all singles. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add two singles here on this side. Doesn't matter where, centered. Two singles here. I'm gonna add two singles here. Not, uh, yeah, two singles on the same stitch. So that's one, two, three, and four on the front, on the same direction, more or less. Okay, so I need to increase four singles, two in the front and two in the back. Doesn't really matter where you add it, but I'm gonna try to, uh, so we have, let's say, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So on my sixth, I'm going to add, I'm going to do the increase of the single. Okay, so we're going to do one chain, come back in the same stitch with the single inside of the one chain stitch with the single on top of my triple with the single and again single inside of the one chain stitch on top of the triple until I meet my sixth little block. So I have one, two, three, four. This is my five. And on my sixth one, I'm going to increase two inside of here because we will be missing four singles for the count of the next row, okay? Don't want it too loose, that's not gonna look pretty. And then continue on. And of course, in the front, we'll do the same thing. So you can count how many you have from here to here, so on each double crochet, how many blocks we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. So we have twenty-three. No, twenty-two. Sorry, because it starts from double crochet. Uh, twenty-two. So that means eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That would be the middle. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna do it on my sixth, counting that first block from the double crochet. So on my sixth, and again from here on my sixth. I'll do the increase exactly how I did there. Two double crochet, uh, two singles, okay? everyone so counting from this first double crochet I have one two three four five on this sixth I'm going to do an increase of two in the same uh, 
stitch there. And I'm going to continue one per, per stitch inside of the chain space on top of the double crochet. And I need one increase here still in the front and I'll be missing one in the back. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. If you want to put a hook or a marker, I should say, I should have one somewhere just so we can have it evened up. So on my sixth, counting from the corner, I'm going to continue on my singles. I still have no clue which color I'm going to use for the bottom part of the dress. My goodness. Okay, so this one here is where I have my marker. So I need to do an increase. So that's six little blocks counting from the double crochet at the edge here. I'm going to do another increase. That means I'm only missing one in the back on the other side and I'm going to do it approximately in the same uh, stitch or the same count as I did with this one okay so I have my two here that means one two three four five on my sixth counting from the corner okay or you can count from here to make sure that you are on the right track. So counting from the, the corner here, one, two, three, four, five, six, that means my seventh. One, two, three, four, five, six, that means on my seventh, I'm going to do my increase. Okay, everyone, so complete it all the way around. I've cut my thread, but you can continue in one color only, okay? I wanted to use two colors, and so I'm going to go with, I believe, the royal blue. I do have this gorgeous ribbon, baby blue ribbon, which is like transparent, and I think it's going to look gorgeous on here you know so just to give you an idea just some of the ideas that come in my head I don't know could be maybe a flower that I'm going to add on to there but maybe a little bow tie something like that but anyway it, it, this is the idea I'm thinking of the ribbon to go around it okay so I'm going to get started on the royal blue. So I'm going to do, you can do your normal way that you do when you start on the same stitch that we left off. So I'm going to come right in here and do a double crochet. And hide this thread as I'm going no chain stitch i'm going to skip one two stitch and i'm coming in the third one into the third one trying to pull this string away so i can just hide it as I'm going and I'm going to build a shell of two double crochet and two chain and I didn't want to start with three chain going up because I don't want like a big mark going through there so I'm coming back in the same stitch and doing another double crochet, trying to hide this thread as I'm going, two chain, 
And again, back end. And another double crochet. So we're building, um, can I get this better? We're building shells of two. Oh my goodness, I think I just made a knot on my thread. We're building shells of two double crochet. So two chain. Let me just try it this way. Maybe it'll work better this way. Okay, it did. It's stubborn, but I am more stubborn. So two double crochet, two chain, two double crochet. No chain space. We're going to skip one, two. I'm coming on the third one with double crochet. No chain space. One, two on the third one. Building my two double crochet shells groups again. Two chain. Coming back in. And building this. No chain. One, two on my third one. Again, double crochet. One, two, and building my shell of two double crochet, two chain, and two double crochet. We're going to repeat this all the way around the same way, and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, hey everyone. So I pretty much closed my row. Now, we had done the increase of four. Uh, singles on the previous row because I was sure we were missing four but in reality um, we was missing two so I had two extra which is no problem instead of skipping uh, like on my last two here I skipped one two three and went into my fourth one two three and went into my fourth and that doesn't change anything on the pattern okay just to let you know So I'm closing with slip stitch. I'm going to do a front post, okay? So basically, I'm going to come this way. I'm just going to take it out at once. Let's try that again. So I'm going to come from the back to the front, and I'm going to do a single and two chains. We need to keep double crochet where we have the double crochets, but it's going to be front post, okay? And we're coming directly into the shell with shells. So where we have the shells, we're doing shell. And where we have the double crochet, we're doing front post double crochet, okay? So coming from the back to the front, front post, and doing the same thing all the way around the same way, shell over shell, front post, double crochet. Okay, so we're just going to repeat what we just did. I just want to mention also, you know how some babies are a little bit fatter than others? So when you get to this row here, where um, we've done the singles, or actually no, um, before the singles, you can increase two more rows after that if you need it wider you just and then close up the same way the only thing you have to remember is your sleeve will also become wider okay but you can uh widen it up more if uh by increasing on the double crochets before you do the singles okay just wanted to mention that to you guys i think this looks so pretty oh my goodness means you want to have a baby all over again uh, no, thank you. I think I'll leave it at the parents' house and, and just go and get 
the babies, nephews, nieces, or neighbors. It doesn't matter when we're missing babies, right? I think we've grown ours. We're so tired now. Okay, so we'll just continue. Okay, everyone. So I've decided to go with the yellow instead of the royal blue so you guys can see the stitch properly. Okay, so because I had done only uh, two rows, I took it down and came in with the canary yellow. Now we're going to do four rows uh, all together, so two more with no chain stitch. And then three rows after that with one chain stitch uh, between the the posts, okay? So I'm gonna cut, I close in with slip stitch. I'm coming back in, doing my single and my two chains. That's my first double crochet. So two more rows like this, no uh, chain space between them. And then three more rows. So that means uh, after row four, five, six, and seven, two chain, uh, one chain space between them, okay? So just continue to do your shells and your front post. One more row with no chain space. The next three, one chain space. I'll come back to you at the end of row seven, okay? Okay, everyone, so basically I've already done a few, but very simple. So we have the first four rows, no chain. Then three rows, one chain. Six rows, two chain. And then six more rows, three chain. I'll come back to you once I finish the last row of three chain. So I still, I've already done four. I need two more of two chain. And then I'm gonna create six more of three chain space. Okay, and I'll come back to you at the end of that and tell you how many rows I have all together. I also wanna to mention to you that you must have paired. So I have 20 shells. So even if you have to skip four or only two, find your way to fit your, you have to have even numbers, okay? Uh, even if you're going bigger or even if you're going smaller on the little dress, you must have even numbers or else the pineapples won't fit in properly, okay? So let's continue on. Okay, everybody. So I finished all of my rows. I have 19 rows. Now we're going to start the foundation of the pineapples. Now, remembering if you want to go a little bit longer on the skirt part, you can do a few more rows like this. Okay, so I've closed in with slip stitch. I'm going to come back in and do that front post. So a single, two chain, and three more for space. So total of five coming on this shell here I'm doing a shell normal shell three chain again coming from behind doing your front post three chain on the next shell we're going to do nine double crochets. This is the foundation of the pineapples. So basically, we're always going to alternate shell, nine double crochets, shell, nine double crochets, all the way around, and three chain space, front post. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Make sure that when you do your shells that you do have nine or you'll have issues closing the pattern out. One, two, and three. Front post. Okay, so shell. Um, Yes, shell, nine double crochets, shell, nine double crochets. I'll meet you at the end. 
Okay, everyone, so pretty much finished this row. I'm going to come back in again and do that single front post and two chain. That's my double crochet. One, two, and three for space. Coming back in the shell, I'm doing shell. So we're doing shell over shell. That doesn't change. Two double crochet, two chain, and two more. Chain three. Coming on top of that first double crochet from the foundation of the pineapple with double crochet. One chain space, double crochet, one chain, double crochet. So we're going to repeat this the same way all the way around. And still have your nine double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Chain three, front post, double crochet. And then again, chain three, and shell over shell. So continue your row. I'll meet you at the end of mine. Okay, everyone, so finished my row. We're going to start the three chain loop for the pineapples. So I've closed in with slip stitch, doing my front post single and two chain for double crochet and three more for space. Shell over shell. Three chain one two three coming in that first space that one chain between the double crochets one two and three next row will be a repeat and then I'll come back to you right after that it's going to change up a bit So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and now three chain, front post, three chain, shell over shell. So we're going to do two more rows like this. And then I'll come back to you once we have three rows completed of the loops for the pineapples. Okay, everyone. So we pretty much finished three rows of the three chain for the pineapple. On this row, it's going to change a bit on the shells. So I'm going to come back in and do my single, my two chain for my double crochet and three more for space. Inside of the shell, we're going to build two groups of two double crochet, two chain, two more double crochet, two chain, and two more double crochet. So we have, we're going to create um, this time on this row four loops only. So three chain again and continue with the pineapple so all the shells will have three groups of two double crochet two chain space everything else stays the same with three chain okay and we should have four loops this time on the pineapples we're almost there so we're pretty much creating the edge of the dress so one two three four chain three 
and continue your front post. Chain three and do your three groups of two double crochet again. Two chain and continue one. Two chain, two more double crochet. Okay, so this is how we're going to repeat the row all the way around. Okay, everyone finished my row. Going into the next one, again doing my single and my two chain for double crocheting and three more for space. Coming inside that first two chain, creating a shell of two, double crochet, two chain, and two more. Now, creating another shell here, we're doing one chain only, and everything else stays the same. One chain, and two double crochet, and everything else is three chain. One, two, three. So this row, we should have three loops only for the pineapples, okay? I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I have finished my row and started the next one. Single, two chain, my double crochet, and three more for space. Coming in that first uh, two chain, create your shell. So this is gonna be until the end of the pineapple. We're closing out the pineapples. One, two, three chain. Coming in that one chain space, single, one, two, three chain, do your shell again. So the next few rows is going to be like this. And we should have, so we have two loops here now. Next row we're gonna have three loops because we'll do three chain, single, three chain, single. So it's just a repeat until we have four loops here. And then I'll come back to you again. So we have two, the next row three. And on the fourth one, I'm coming back to you. Okay? So basically, it's just a repeat. Chain three. And we should have two loops left here on the pineapple. So we're almost done. Okay? So we have two loops. One, two, three. And front post. Okay, so basically this is what we're going to do to all of them. I'll meet you, not the next row. The next row is the same thing. Shell, three chain, single, three chain, single, three chain, shell. Okay, everyone. So I've finished the pineapple still with the three chains. And I have one, two, three, four loops of three chain between the shells. So I'm going to continue to do my double crochet, my front post, I should say, double crochet, two and three more chain. Doing my shell So everything else still stays the same, my three chain. Coming in, doing those loops. Doing my shell. my three chain. Now here, we're going to do the front post. 
I'm going to take out one only and again into the next one. Take out ones and then take all three loops out. One, two, and three. And then come and do your shell. And then continue your three chain loops. So basically you have to do an incomplete in order to close everything together like that. Okay, I'm going to do it one more time. So I'm going to advance it. So we're going to do the three chain coming in. I'm going to take out only once. Coming into the next one, take out once, and now take out all three loops, okay? And one, two, and three. And complete your shell. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I finished my row, ran out of threads, but had thinner threads, so I've split it into three strands, so it's similar to Aunt Lydia number 10. Okay, so I'm using three at the same time. So we've closed in. We're going to do the walk now to the shell. I call it the walk with the slip stitch. We're almost finishing. Okay, coming in the shell, which shell? See, this is the, the bad side about it when using a few strands. You tend to miss one here or there. Okay, so we're doing the shell. Oops, of two. And your three um, chain loops. So we're pretty much just going to connect shell with shell here on this row. So your three chain continues and I'll meet you again at the shell. So I've arrived at the shell, so I'm just gonna do shell over a shell and also reminding you I'm using using um, pore ply so that means for maybe a year old um, depending of course the size of the baby the little girl year old to two years old or sometimes you could even have like you know those chunky eight nine months ten month old probably would fit in it also but if you're using Aunt Lydia number 10, then it's more for like, you know, uh, of course the pattern will be small. It's more for um, months, six months, seven months maybe. Okay, so we did the shell here and right into the next one. And just continue the the three chain loops. Okay, so that's the only difference here. Okay, everyone finished my row. So I close in with slip stitch. We're gonna come back in and do a single and one, two, three chain. Now, where we have the shell is no longer shell will be single. We're making this round loops of three chain. Three chain into the next one. Single. One, two, and three. Into the next one. Single. One, two, and three.
one, two, and three on the shell. Single, one, two, and three. Into the next shell, single. So that's all we're doing all the way around. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So did all the way around. One, two, and three. I'm just going to hook it. Actually, where well, we have that single up there. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go into the next one here. Do a single and two chain. I'm going to do two more incomplete double crochet and close it at once. Coming into the next three chain. This is the last row, by the way. Single, two chain. Incomplete. Three, double crochet, close it, and single, two chain, and complete, and close it at once. Coming to the next one, single, two chain, and complete. Close it and single. And so this is the edging. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so pretty much finished the dress. I just put this temporarily. You can put a, pull, a bow tie, you can put um, lace, um, whatever you want around. I just did uh, double crochet here on the edges at the Sleeves you can do single and on the neck and on the back you can put a little button and close it on the back. So I just put this temporarily so you guys can see it's pretty much finished. I think it's gorgeous. Okay, and I'll have the pictures at the end. Thank you so much. This is one to two year old. Okay, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Until next time, everyone. Thank you. God bless. Bye-bye.